This will be a little catch-up video. Um, this is New Year's Eve, 2000, and uh, it's going to be 2023. It's still 2022 today. Tomorrow is 2023. Okay, I got to change my muffler and my elbow underneath here. So you can see the elbow's blown out and uh, all this stuff's rotted, clamps, everything's rotted. The muffler's probably still usable, but I'm not going to mess with it because I'd have to take this thing off. I, maybe I don't have to, but it's just going to be ten times easier to put everything on new since uh, I don't really want to take this thing off. I'm going to try to reach over the top and work with it from there. I also got a flat tire, not completely flat, but it's got a nail in it that leaks. And it's this inside uh, rear drive. There's my new elbow. And uh, of course that's a new elbow that's on there. They only last about two years. Uh, they don't make original equipment anymore, so it's just aftermarket. It's all I can get from the dealer on this old truck, and they don't last very long. And I got some numbers that I ordered on Amazon from a sign shop on Amazon. And that's my truck numbers. I got a new hood on here. I could not do a video on this because I did it at work at, my, at the shop at my job. And... Um, it, that hood is not painted it comes white there's a couple of other trucks at my job that have a hood just like this they're not white trucks mine is so mine's camouflaged better but that's just the gel coat and there's some rough spots that were sanded off of it I didn't they did that where they made it at and so I am just going to stick these numbers on there I'll clean off a spot stick these numbers on there and then sometime next summer, I'll have to paint that hood, even though it's white. I got to paint it white because the paint will resist the weather and the sun way better than that gel coat on the fiberglass. So, just some of the things that I got to do here on uh, on this holiday weekend. While it's not too awful cold, last week Christmas was horribly cold. Couldn't do anything. I didn't step out of the house. I just stayed in the house. So uh, that is what is going on with me. I'm not going to videotape actually doing these jobs, but I could put links up uh, for changing a tire or patching a tire. I can put a link up for a previous video doing that. I can put a link up for a previous video of doing this uh, elbow and muffler because uh, I have done that on video in the past. So. And as far as the hood goes, there's nothing, there's no point in doing a video on putting stickers on. You just take a little dab of rubbing compound or anything just to clean off wherever you're going to put them, clean it. And then if you want to, you can take a piece of masking tape and, and stretch it out as a guideline to uh, keep these numbers straight when you put them on. And you'll just peel the... Uh, peel the backing off, put it on, and then there's a top backing that holds the numbers in place. You peel that off after you peel your backing, your first backing off. So it's kind of self-explanatory. The only thing is, my little trick is I like to stretch a piece of tape across the bottom of it that I can pull off and move it if I don't like exactly where that tape landed when I first put, put it on the first time. Well, I think that'll probably be the end of this video, unless something else comes up that I think I should add to it. So, thank you guys for watching, and thanks for all the comments. I do read every last one of them. I don't respond to all of them all the time. Uh, some of them are just, I don't know how to respond, don't know what to say. Some of them, I think, are just, you know, people just want to say something, but they're not really looking for an answer. But uh, I do read every last one of them. I look forward to reading them. So thank you guys for, for following my channel. Alright, Happy New Year.